Hey everybody, Tom Vecchio here from VCFJ Law. Today I wanted to talk about a particular technique that we're seeing from certain claimant lawyers when their clients are sent back to work with restrictions and limitations. If the authorized treating doctor says the injured employee can return to work, the best thing to do is to have the employer be in a position to offer restricted duty work within the claimant's restrictions and limitations. So when that happens, there are a handful of claimant lawyers that are saying, that's fine, my guy will go back to work with your employer, but I am also sending a vocational expert to observe him do the job that the employer has offered to make sure that job is truly within his restrictions and limitations. Well, your first thought is that's crazy. A claimant can't simply bring their own expert in tow onto the employer's private premises to observe this job and make sure that it fits with the restrictions and limitations. But actually, that is permissible. And there is some authority from civil cases that say an injured worker is allowed to bring this type of person onto the work site. So how do you handle this? What's the best way to address this issue? And the best way to do that is to welcome the claimant's vocational expert with open arms. Coordinate with your employer representative, make sure that they understand what's going on and make sure they understand the reasons for it. Most importantly, make sure that the job being offered is within the claimant's restrictions and limitations. Make sure that it is an essential part of the employer's processes, not simply make work to avoid exposure for temporary partial disability. And then let the claimant come to work with the hand-picked vocational expert in tow. Keep in mind that the attorney who has retained that expert is paying that person at a minimum $100 an hour. So if that vocational expert is sitting there watching the claimant do a repetitious or simple job that is clearly within restrictions and limitations, that's going to last a couple of hours. That person will be gone by lunchtime and you will then have conclusive proof that the work that you offered on the injured worker's behalf is definitely within restrictions and limitations and that there's no problem with the job being offered. This is a really effective technique. What you're doing is, is meeting the claimant at their own game. They're expecting nothing but resistance, but when you say that's just fine, you can bring your expert to the work site. They're not quite sure what to do, and that only lasts, like I said, for a couple of hours, and then the problem is over. So we don't see this much, but we're seeing it a little bit more frequently. It's one of those things that is sort of spreading among the community in terms of the claimant bar, and it's something that you need to prepare for and be ready to address the moment it arises. So tell me what you think about this. Tell me what you think of the video. Jump over onto our YouTube channel and post some comments. I'm interested in hearing what you have to say. Thank you very much for watching, and we will be talking soon.